parents will be able to spend a month off together with their newborn babies if Labor is re-elected, with the party pledging to introduce paid leave for partners. Now, partners will be entitled to take four weeks paid leave on top of all the current entitlements. But if you are expecting, don't celebrate too soon. It'll be phased in, with partners able to take two weeks paid leave from July next year then three weeks the following year, and finally four weeks in 2026. It'll cost $230 million over four years. And it can be taken at the same time as the stay-at-home parent or added to the 26 weeks paid parental leave already available. Here's our political editor, Jenna Lynch. Chris Hipkins reading the room. After voting down National's bill to allow parents more flexible parental leave, he's now eyeing up a slice of the parent pie. Don't put your finger in the pie, guy. We know that it's a really important time for families when they've just had a new baby um, and partners do want to be involved in that early part of the process. Reaching for the fist pump policy, paid partners leave. Currently, paid parental leave is 26 weeks. You can share that between parents but can only make the switch over once and you can't take it together. When you've got a newborn in the house, it's, it's, it gets emotionally exhausting. Um, so you want that clear ear to be able to focus on your babies, but you also need a bit of financial support during that time as well. Partners are currently entitled to two weeks leave. It's unpaid. Labor's proposal is an extra four weeks paid that can be taken at the same time or added to the 26 weeks. But Daisy's mum, Z, present for the PM's big pitch, was underwhelmed. Everything is going up. Rates are going up. No more rate renting is going up then how is that little bit actually going to help that much? This is the latest in a long line of Labour policies aimed at the parents of these little ones. An aim to share the load of the household, something this National MP seems to struggle with. I try and do at least once a month. I get out there and take the, the, uh, the shopping list off my wife and get a bit of publicity with a National Party jacket on my back looking like the everyday man. It gives my wife a break. He's going to have um, a conversation with his wife. Yeah. When I got home, she did give me a bit of stick about that, so uh, yeah, I know my place now. Did you wince when you heard it? <laughs> I'll, put, I'll, I'll, put, I'll say this to you, I'm definitely a feminist. It's just the nature of the role here, and it's probably something that all 120 other MPs would tell you. Are you too busy to go to the supermarket? I was at the supermarket on Saturday. Possibly checking out food prices ahead of his GST-free fruit and veg policy, his money man Grant Robertson in a grump about the opposition's suppositions. I think what could have gone on here uh, is that Grant Robertson, when asked to put this policy together, said there's no way we can make that work by April, Prime Minister. Uh, and Chris Hipkins said, just as he said with the policy as a whole, look, I don't care. Complete lie, Heather. Why would you repeat a lie? Whose lie was it? Nicola Willis's lie. That's oh. what you've just repeated. Did you lie? Absolutely not. Saying she's a liar. Oh, well, that's what I said, yeah. He's clearly under a lot of pressure. He's had a tough start to the year. He's had to swallow a lot of rats. It's getting tense. Nothing a sausage roll can't fix. Perhaps a cup of tea and a lie down too. Jenna Lynch, News Hub.